First Grantham United Church in St. Catharines was formed when Grantham United Church and First United Church amalgamated in 2004. When one of their ministers, Rev. Jeff Mason, retired in 2010, the congregation decided to take a different approach to their staffing needs. We had five members of the congregation and two presbytery reps who sat with us as we began to discern the needs of First Grantham Congregation. A prior JNAC had been done where there was a recommendation that we go with a youth and children's ministry. Throughout the process with the survey, we found that that's what the congregation was looking for, someone to do the work for them. And towards the end of the process, one other member and myself were feeling uncomfortable with bringing someone in and having the idea that that person would fix the problem for us. And so about 20 years earlier, I had attended a Marlene Wilson workshop at the School of Theology in Toronto. And her focus was on the ministry of volunteers. And so as Pat and I began to talk about this, we came up with the idea for the Congregational Designated Ministry of a Volunteer Coordinator. I was a little bit speechless because that was not at all what I expected. And um, I thought about it and thought, well, yeah, first of all, good on the JNAC for um, having that kind of initiative and that kind of creativity. And we're trying to create a culture of discipleship in the church in which people uh, take ownership for their own faith development, uh, making that shift from thinking of ministry as that which is done by the professional staff and supported by lay volunteers to ministry being done by the congregation and the professional staff being there to equip and support them in doing that. So I thought it was a, a really brilliant and creative uh, response. Once the decision was made to go this way with a congregational designated position, it gave us a little more freedom in terms of how we did the search process. We put together an interview team, a search committee. We took the job description from the JNAC, um, really didn't, didn't change it, we really didn't have any authority to change it. We decided to advertise online, and so we used uh, Charity Village, an online uh, forum for the volunteer sector. Placed an ad along with the job description, and we were successful in, the, in a very short period of time. We managed to collect 27 resumes from interested candidates. As we interviewed the half dozen or so candidates whom we chose to interview, we were immediately struck by Candace's energy, her intensity, and her obvious knowledge of the field. She had broad experience in the field as well as some uh, pertinent education. And one way to sum it up was I think I felt and the others felt that she just got it. She understood almost instinctively what it was we needed, probably better than we understood it. It's a really great way for me to not only live out what I want to with my work in the not-for-profit sector, motivating people to give of themselves, but a way to serve God as well. The main part of my role is to encourage people that they can live out their faith through service at the church. Everyone has gifts that God has given us and my main goal is to take those gifts uh, that are given to people and allow them to discover them themselves and then find ways that they can match service to the church. Our mission and va values at First Grantham are that we are ambassadors for Christ, not only within our church, our neighborhood, our city, but also the world. And this volunteer opportunity program within First Grantham is a way that we can encourage this. We didn't really know of another congregation that had gone in this exact direction. What that's meant for the, over the first year is that we've been feeling our way with Candace, uh, trying to uh, really understand how to maximize her presence in the church and how to get her uh, doing the things that will really be the most effective. So it's been a steep learning curve for her as well as for the congregation because we went into it not really 100% knowing um, how it would work out. And uh, I think after a year we can say that we've made some real progress in that area and we're really excited about the future.